guys, welcome to the local band Smoke Out on your host Tyler the most EG and today we're doing an EP review for Castle Pines. Uh, we've had them on in the past but never to do an EP review. Facebook.com slash Castle Pines Music and uh, the, this third entire EP is going to be called Por Vida which means for life and they're from Corona, California. Uh, if, you're, if you've never seen me do an album or EP review, basically um, so there's seven songs, and I kind of wrote down notes already for each song. So I'm gonna re uh, basically I talk about that before we hear the song, and we hear about like a, a minute to a minute and a half snippet of each one, so you kind of get an idea of what the whole EP or album is gonna sound like, and uh, you can kind of judge for yourself. And then I do an album assessment at the end where I give an overall score of what I thought about it, and uh, yeah, that's kind of how I do it. So before we get started, we must do the sponsors. Jason Trevino Tattoos located in Victorville, Vape Out located in Apple Valley and Big Bear. Stop in at Vape Out and use code LBS15. We'll take 15% off the purchase. Boost AK Integra Products, Dirty Radio. Download the free Dirty Radio app. It's awesome. I'm on there every Friday at 7 p.m. Pacific time. And if you're going to ban in Southern California, text booking to 909 706 1985 for bigger and better shows courtesy of Youngblood Productions. So. Castle Pines, you could contact Young Blood Productions and possibly get some bigger, better shows. I don't know if you guys need that help, but just throw it out there. Castle Pines Music on Facebook. They're from Corona, California. Let's start off this EP review with Casio Pia, track one. Right away, I love the guitar riffs. Nice, smooth rock sound, but yet the, the drums kind of scream, let's dance the whole time while you're listening to it. Um, it's a really fun, groovy song, and then you can hear the pain in the singer's voice. Let's check out Cassiopeia. It's track one on Castle Pines' Por Vida. Spark it up if you got it. Here we go. Alright, so let's track one. Cassiopeia. Track two is going to be called Woohoo. And uh, even though it kind of has like a fun title, Woo! The, the song itself is kind of like a little bit of a sadder song, but the vocals kind of sound like poetry rap to me. Uh, the background vocals remind me of some Rolling Stones sections. Looks like it's some really cool vibes there. Funny yet very serious lyrics to the song, and I like the aggressive screaming vocals at the end. This is track two. Woohoo, we're doing an EP review of Castle Pines Por Vida. Facebook.com slash Castle Pines Music. Here we go with. I forgot, I gotta cue it up. Track two. Woohoo. I'm doing 
doing okay with mine, I guess. Well, the last time I saw you, we were thriving. But we were doing just fine. Track two called Woohoo, and we've made it all the way up to track three, which is March Mellow. Uh, I spied an accordion on this one in the beginning, enjoying this album so far. Uh, <clears throat> I really get some Cage the Element vibes from this song, which is awesome. And uh, this is probably one of my favorite tracks on it up to this point. So this is gonna be track three, March Mellow, and uh, yeah, we're in Jam Out to Castle Pines. So, hopefully you guys are enjoying it up to this point as well. And here we go. Castle, Castle Pines Pour Vita EP Review. These guys are on Corona, California. Facebook.com slash Castle Pines Music. <coughs> and we'll be right back. Alright, so now we're back with part two of Castle Pines Pour Vita EP Review. And we are on track four, Swim Team Sucker. This song is a really fun track. Um, <clears throat> some Tom Petty and the Heartbreaker vibes on this one, which was awesome. Kind of a really soulful track, and it's got a really catchy hook. So let me know what you think of the song Swim Team Sucker from Castle Pines, track four of the EP. Here we go.
That was track four. Swim Team Sucker from Castle Pines. We've made it to track five. This one's called Scenester. Low-key, I like every single song that we had up to this point. Um, and this one is absolutely no different. It's kind of got a cool, sexy, chill, but yet haunting vibe to it. Um, also, uh, I would say that each song has like a different a different feel as far as like a reference that I'm, I'm calling out. This one I'm saying it kind of has like a little bit of the, the Deer Hunter vibes. One of my favorite bands of all time. If you don't know that band, please check them out. The Deer Hunter. But yeah, this is track five from Castle Pines. It's called Scenester. And I got a little asterisk in it because I really enjoy this one. But uh, check this one out. Scenester. Track five. How do you ask for a date? What about this? Uh, Ian? Well, uh, how about a date? Uh, well, I mean... Well, really? No thanks, Woody. Hmm. Well, suppose he did it this way. Hi, Ian. What you doing Saturday night? Go on, go on, go on, go on. from Castle Pines out of Corona, California, facebook.com slash Castle Pine Music. And uh, that was part two. We're going to come back right in a little bit with part three and do our album assessment wrap up after we do track six and seven. And then um, you will have learned the final score of Castle Pines EP review. Don't go anywhere. We'll All right, out. so we are up to part three of the Castle Pines EP review, and we are doing track six, which is called Change of Time. And uh, this one's slightly different feel to the rest of the other songs. It's got some YouTube vibes going on. Um, I like the break change that it has. It kind of has like a little bit of a carnival twist to it. Uh, and then there's like a really cool guitar solo that comes after that. So this is track six, Change of Time for Castle Pines. Here we go. Track 7, which is uh, also titled Castle Pines, the name of the band Castle Pines, but it's Track 7, Castle Pines. Um, this one has like a really haunting guitar notes in the beginning, which is really cool. 
Um, Johnny Cash vibes vocally throughout it. The longest track on the EP coming in at a little over eight minutes total. And then it has some kind of towards the end, like the Cure meets Nine Inch Nails vibes. So uh, check out this one. It's the self-titled track of the name of the band, Castle Pines. Here we go. That's not it. It's this one. Here we go. seven tracks and the top of the album assessment castle pines out of corona california facebook.com slash castle pine music that was the poor vita ep all right what an awesome ep i really enjoyed every single track on it no bullshit my three favorite songs were scenes third marshmallow and cassiopeia that's how you say it and uh, each track kind of gave me different vibes and feels while not venturing too far from each other's original sound. So they all kind of have like the same sound, but are so different from each other. Um, I would love to catch a live show for sure. Very much enjoyed this and um, it comes highly recommended in a 9.2 out of 10, which is going to be my score. So fucking excellent score thank you guys for uh, just hitting me up to do this i had a lot of fun i'm gonna be jamming this one for a while i know a lot of people that really like it so facebook.com slash castle pine music they're from corona california cheers thank you guys we appreciate it and uh yeah till next time keep blazing peace